Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is me again, Minette Javier, and today is another Manic Monday for some. But for me, hindi. <laughs> Kasi I'm a nurse, and iba-iba ang schedule ko. So, pwedeng off ako ng Monday, pwedeng may pasok ako ng Saturday or ng Sunday. So, ganito talaga ang buhay ng nurses, iba-iba. Meron din kaming morning shift, afternoon shift, at night shift. So, actually, marami nagsasabi na, Ay, mga nurses, ano yan eh? Boring yung buhay nila, walang social life. But, uh, I don't agree. <laughs> um, actually, I have all these, you know, reasons to complain about the kind of schedule that I have. Kasi pwedeng sa night shift, alam mo yun, papasok pa lang ako and kayo naman, patulog na, alam mo yung ganun, o yung parang hindi ka makatulog galing night shift kasi maliwanag, alam mo yun, maliwanag sa labas. Or pwede rin sabihin ko na, Andaya, kasi ako gising na gising, kailangan gising ako, dahil duty nga ako, tapos kayo ang himbing ng tulong nyo. Yung mga ganun, or pwedeng may lakad ako ng gabi pero hindi ko magawa kasi nga may pasok ako, alam mo yung ganun. But, I'm also hearing other people who are in their 9 to 5 job. Alam mo yun, nagko-complain sila na parang, Ano ba to? Paulit-ulit na lang? Or parang ang boring? Ano ba naman to? Ito na ba talaga yun? So, alam mo yun, kung hahanap ka ng reason para mag-complain, may mahanap at mahanap ka, regardless kung anong schedule. Kaya talagang, it's, sometimes, it's about appreciating your schedule. It's about incorporating the things that you love. Doon sa mga hours na, doon sa mga periods in between, or doon sa mga days off mo. It's about, um, balancing between work and play. It's about prioritizing. One of the ways to be in control of our life is to have a planner. Dito, I write my biggest goals and binibreak down ko siya into years, into months, into weeks, and into days. So, syempre, dahil iba-iba nga yung schedule ko, nilalagay ko na siya so that in advance, let's say for this month, alam ko na yung mga gagawin ko, ano ba yung mga um, kumbaga highlight na event na yung month na to. And so, at least alam ko na, ah, ito pala yung schedule. For example, itong week na to, um, alam ko kailan ako night, kailan ako afternoon, kailan ako off. So, at least napaprioritize ko, ah, diba? Or talagang there's a time na kailangan mong focus muna sa trabaho mo, ba diba? So, yun. Um, it made me more organized and I've been doing this since 2017 and I've seen massive changes in me. It made me more organized. It made me more in control nga. And of course, hindi ko naman siya nasundan lagi. Siyempre, may mga outside uh, circumstances na wala naman akong control. But somehow, it serves as a compass. Diba? Kumaga, it gives you some sort of direction. So, yun. Um, yun. So, whether you have a 9 to 8 to 5 or 9 to 5 job, eh, ang sa akin lang is, or kung night shift ka, Oh, I mean, kung shifting ka, it's about um, trying to find the ways or strategies that will help you um, win against the busy life na parang minsan akala mo busy ka, akala mo nagiging productive ka when in fact, hindi. Busy ka lang talaga. Pero anong output mo, wala rin, di ba? So, yun. I think it's a, a balance between enjoying life and fulfilling your duties, di ba? I hope na may... <laughs> may valuable lesson naman dito sila na share ko and uh, I'm just sharing what worked for me and um, I hope this year will be a more fruitful one for me and for all of us so take care everyone and God bless bye